I don't even remember who all these skulls belong to. More, I don't have many disciples left to send to the surface. My influence is a mere shadow of what it was before. I must assemble my followers. I don't have many. That reprobate Van Helsing. Not only did he humiliate me, he deprived me of my powers. Garion's Claw is a fascinating artifact. With its help, I can ensure that no mortal rises against me ever again. Even Van Helsing wouldn't be able to find the inspiration to confront me. But my vi- The Claw of Garion, cut from the creature of the same name, drives out all inspiration from anyone who enters into contact with it. It is thus an object that humans consider to be cursed, and they do not keep it for long. Finding it will not be easy. My informers on Earth heard talk of a poet lacking inspiration, who had received a visit from the Sanctua Lumen. My disciples will begin there. My disciples go to the home of a poet suffering from creative impotence. Apparently, this insignificant individual had received a visit from the Sanctua Lumen, an occurrence that immediately aroused our interest. Hoping to find here the point of departure in their quest for the Claw of Geryon, they enter the rundown hut and find a young man ferociously tearing up pages covered in crossings out. He unquestionably bears the mark of Geryon. He tells us how men of the Sanctua Lumen suddenly burst in, took the claw, and immediately left for the town of Pere. That is where my disciples will go. The people fear me once again. That is how it should be. This town is repulsive. I'd love to watch it burn. I heard you. You called me three times. Who should I kill? Hunger! What game are we playing? I'm listening, Master! Who 
shall die tonight. Submit to my yoke. Finally, fresh souls to talk This forest isn't so terrifying. Not yet.
I shall have forged the world in my image. The dice were loaded from the start. What game are we playing? Who shall die tonight? Mortal that bows down before my power is a good mortal. Choose quickly. Evil will not spread by itself. No one stands against the Prince of Hell! Sacrifice to dominate. Take everything you can. I accept my punishment. Scream as loud as you can. yourself. The only limit to my power is my imagination. Scream as loud as you can. My disciples enter Pere. They approach the main square, 
from where they can hear loud voices. Residents are shouting a name, hope etched on their faces. Caleb, Caleb. The Sanctua Lumen is there, and among them a man holding the claw of Geryon in his bare hand. He raises the claw, and the townsfolk go silent. With a sweeping movement, he brings the artifact down upon his arm. No blood flows from the deep gash. A respectful murmur is heard. The wound closes. He speaks. Serve the Sanctua Lumen, and you will be rewarded. I immediately understand the true nature of this Caleb. He is an imitation human. I revealed to my disciples the existence of a puppeteer specialized in automaton who once made a pact with me. They will find him in the town of Capellion.